Hello and welcome to the 28th video in this series of programming a chess engine in C. So we're now getting somewhere and slowly moving on towards generating moves for a given position. So I've added a file called movegen.c to the project folder and I've included as you can see here in the make file movegen.c and here it is. And over this and the next few videos, we're going to build up the move generator functions. Now, first of all, we need to add in some definitions. And the first definition we need to add in here, we're going to define something called max position moves as 256. And this is basically going to be the maximum number of moves that we expect there can be for a, in a given position and 256 should be more than enough for all likelihoods of position. The next thing we need to do is we need to define a new structure and here we're going to define a move list structure and we're going to call it s underscore move list and this is going to be the list of moves that we actually store and it's not world chattery complicated it's simply a an array of moves called moves and inside here will be the max position moves I think that's what I called it I'll just copy and paste just in case I spelt it wrong and also an integer giving us the count of the number of moves on the move list so fairly simple stuff there The next thing we need to do is actually start moving over and having a look at and thinking about how we're going to generate the moves. And I've been doing very various things to try and think of the best way of going about this. But I think just diving in and going for it is uh, the most sensible way. So first of all, we need to think about how it's going to work. And the, the, and, and the way it's going to work is, and I'm going to just make some comments here so I can put some pseudo code. It's going to, we're going to have a, a move gen function and this function is going to take our board and the move list and inside this function basically what we're going to do is loop all pieces and then for each of these pieces we're then just going to if it's a slider loop each direction and add move and the way we add a move it's quite simple we simply take our list we've got our moves we know our count so we can say list count equals move let's say and then we just do list count incremented for the next one so it should be fairly clear and it's fairly easy how we do this it just takes quite a bit of code to do it so the first thing we're going to need to do though is add in three functions. I'm going to call them add quiet move. Oops, with a void. And this will take a constant pointer to our board called position. It'll take a constant, no, it'll just be an integer for the move itself and it will also take a pointer to our move list of which we'll be adding the move to and for the moment all that we're simply going to say is as I've already done up here we're going to say list moves remember it's an array of list count whichever one we have now now remember that it's an array of the move structure so actually we need to set the move and the score we can't just simply do it like this and we're sending in an integer as you can see here so we actually have to put a dot move here equals move and now what we're actually going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this line underneath except this time I'm going to set the score and the score at the moment is going to be naught and when we actually start searching looking for a best move into position we'll come back to this generation functions and we'll start assigning these moves a score because it's important for move ordering which will be talked about, talked about quite a bit later and then last but not least all we need to do in this position is increment the number of moves in the list 
So very simple. Now I'm going to copy this function and I'm going to paste it and put capture move and I'm going to paste it a third time and I'm going to put on pass so for on I'll put the full word on passant move and the reason for this is is when it comes to the move ordering we'll need to be able to distinguish between what are called quiet moves and non captures capture moves and on passant moves as well because elite receive a different score but as I said this will all become clear later on when we start actually going into the function in some kind of detail and the last thing I'm going to do in this video is leave it with a bit of a teaser and make a function called generate all moves and here we're going to take in constant pointer to our board position and our move list and then the first thing we're going to do in this is we're going to set the count in the move list to naught because we haven't generated any moves and I'm going to leave this video because I don't want the video to run too long there and it's worth just having a look what's going on here all these are doing is adding the move that's been sent into the function to the array and obviously these functions here will be called eventually from this generate all moves function and another thing just to keep your head around is that this small structure here contains an array of these structures here of which we each time we define a move list we've got up to 256 moves which we can store now the other small thing I wanted to very quickly discuss I said right at the start of the video that we defined this assert here to help us along with checking everything's running okay in our functions well since I've done that and we've done the we've got the checkboard function here which is the main reason for having this assert we've now added the square attacked we've added a print moved and a print square and we're about to start adding a lot of other functions with the generate moves but I haven't actually leveraged any more the assert so at the start of the next video I'm going to run through quickly where I'm going to place sporadically some asserts just to maybe catch some major stuff I'm not going to do it as thoroughly as I normally would because I want to try and keep this program as small as possible because it's supposed to be just for a bit of fun and learning but nevertheless it will be useful to put some in so I'll be doing that at the start of the next video and we'll be carrying on with the generating moves function thanks very much for listening comments questions criticisms welcome as always on YouTube